What's my fucking, what am I trying to say? <laughs> Hola muchachalatas. Welcome back to my channel. This is the do-it-yourself channel. This, <laughs> this is the DIY channel that doesn't know what it's doing. Never do what I do. Do as I don't. English. I don't know, okay? But yeah, I'm coming to you in 4K with no makeup. Not 4K. It's like 1080p. No makeup because I'm working hard today. I'm sweating. I stank. We're doing things. Okay, well, I'm going to show you what I'm doing. Okay, I'm not even going to I'm not even going to talk about it. I'm just going to show you. Can I do that? Let's do that. So, I'm painting this box that surrounds the oven and sink. I'm going to be painting that black. And by painting, I mean spray painting. But check this out. Check this out. These are the cabinets so far that I've spray painted black literally with a rattle can, and they turned out so good. Look at that. Super nice. Fury. Oh. Hi, mama. Don't scratch. Bad cat. I've sanded down the boxes a little bit. I just have one more area to do and then just make sure I'm taping off everything perfectly. This is kind of the rough sand that I have going on. We're gonna spray paint them, see how it goes. And then eventually I'm gonna figure out what to do with these countertops because I'm not sure if they're gonna stay. We'll see how it all looks, but it's pretty, pretty old school. You guys wanna know something funny? Well, not like ha ha funny, but like aw funny. My project isn't going as fast as I wanted it to. I mean, I'm still, on track, but I'm gonna have to push pretty pretty hard to get it done when I want it to get done And I don't know if I'm crazy for thinking that I could do it in like two months time for what I need to do It's not like a ton of things, but I need help for a lot of things And I, I bought a bunch of stuff for my ceiling to put it back up, right? And that was supposed to be done forever ago, but I need help, right? I need two sets of hands. I can't hold that wood up and then nail it in also myself it's just impossible i had all of my supplies for my ceiling in my truck and it was raining really hard and i decided to check on it because i really had nowhere else to put it that wouldn't be in the way and that would be relatively safe so i go in my truck i open up the shell and the wood is getting wet like the plywood pieces that i have to like finish the roof they got wet my insulation got rained on and you know that's a lot of money especially the way wood prices are going right now I don't know how they are where you are but here in Canada wood prices are up like crazy so it was super expensive to like buy that stuff and then it's getting ruined because it's not getting put up like it was supposed to I just worry that it's not usable it's getting warped from the weather and stuff like that so it's just I had a little cry I'm gonna be honest with you, I had a little bit of a cry. We had a little frustrated cry because I get really annoyed with myself when I don't know how to do stuff by myself or I can't or I have to rely on other people. I don't know if anyone else is like that, but it's super frustrating for me. It's just the reality of this type of project is sometimes you might get frustrated. Sometimes things aren't gonna work out exactly how you planned it. And even as I'm going now, things are changing. You know, my plans, uh, for certain things are changing because it is what it is. That's life, right? That's a good life lesson. Have a basic plan, but if it doesn't always go to a T of what you had planned, just go with it. Roll with it because you'll always end up where you need to be. Not always where you want to be, but where you need to be. Okay? So trust that things are going to work out. And if you need to have a little cry, have a little cry. Okay? Let it out. Don't be afraid. Anyways, thoughts. an overview with the doors on check it out that's pretty good i'm very pleased with that it's a little dusty right now but when they're cleaned up hey that looks good tell me i'm crazy and now i won't believe you so you might be wondering ow how did it turn out spray painting stuff is not always ideal but if you're lazy and don't want to you know spend all the time with the paintbrush and shit this is what you gotta do. The majority of these boxes are going to be covered by the doors, which turned out really well. I'll show you an up close. That's gorgeous. Tell me that isn't gorgeous. For me, it worked. For you, you got the time to do something else, something better, go for it. Be my guest. <laughs> but if you are, uh, don't know how to do it, but doing it anyway type of person, spray paint's for you, man. That's what we got. <laughs> I also spray painted the metal grates on there too, so they're gonna be nice and shiny black. For today, I think that's going to be all that I'm gonna get up to for videoing anyway. I think there's red ants somewhere because I feel like they're all over me. There was this one time when I was a kid where I ran up this like dirt hill and then felt like a swarm of things crawling up my legs. I looked down, red ants everywhere. 
Suffice to say, I am traumatized. I feel those ants in my sleep. I hope that you were entertained today and you found uh, something to laugh at with me. You know, it's not gonna be perfect, but it's gonna be my little, my little project. I'm gonna look at it one day and be like, damn, this looks pretty cool. <laughs> Regardless of the techniques that I'm using to get there, okay? All right, we'll talk again soon. We'll do some more stupid shit again soon. Bye. <laughs>